So as someone that was born and raised in California, grew up there during my youth, during the 1990s, early 2000s, and fast forwarding to what it is now in 2023, I have to say California has literally turned into a shithole. So for those of you guys that are new to my channel, my name is Forrest Lee. I'm an American expat living here in Bangkok, Thailand. I've been living here in this wonderful country for the past three years. And recently I went back to the United States and stripped my California residency forever. I'm no longer a California resident. In this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how. So to give you guys a little bit of backstory, my parents are Chinese immigrants that have immigrated to California during the mid 1970s. Back then in the 1980s, 1990s, California was a wonderful state, a very safe place. It was very cool culture, sunny, wonderful weather. And I've had some of my, my most fondest memories growing up in the San Francisco Bay Area. It was the quintessential American dream during the 80s and the 90s. During the last 10, 15 years, California has turned into a leftist state full of high taxes, restorative social justice measures. They say years of complaints over drug dealing, public defecation and substance use are falling on deaf ears. Open drug dealing, drug use, and a whole host of other safety issues. There's a man throwing knives in front of our door. It's definitely turned the state for the worse. And post pandemic for the past three years, hearing from friends and family, California has gone down and has literally become a cesspool. Areas in the San Francisco Bay Area, in Los Angeles, crime is running rampant. As I've gotten older and learned more about politics and where my tax dollars are being ran, there's nothing that I agree with when it comes to California. I don't agree with the state government and the way they're budgeting, allocating our tax dollars. I don't agree with their criminal justice system. And I especially do not like the California Franchise Tax Board. And literally, I just came back from California on a two week trip and I recently renounced my California residency. And due to these series of events, it's just made me realize why are my tax dollars being funded to help criminals and all these insane programs. It's out of control government spending and rather than just stay in California and vote and most likely will end up being a losing battle, why don't I just move with my feet and vote with my money? So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to renounce your California residency forever. And especially if you're coming from a perspective such as myself, as a full-time expat, as a full-time traveler, there is no reason for you to pay any state income taxes state taxes whatsoever. So recently I came back from California on a two week trip and I spent two days domiciling in the state of South Dakota. Now there are plenty of states that you can do this. You can domicile in Texas, in Florida, in Wyoming, in South Dakota to name a few, but I chose to renounce my California residency and to domicile in the state of South Dakota because I've had friends that have done this that are currently living here in Thailand and it is the fastest and easiest, most streamlined process that I can ever think of. So the first step that I did to renounce my California residency is that I signed up with a private mailbox service. Now there are plenty of mailbox services in multiple states in South Dakota and Wyoming and Florida. Uh, I just chose South Dakota because it seems like there's been a mass migration of people leaving blue states to places like Texas and Florida. And I can see future I don't know, I, I see in the future that it's gonna be a lot harder to domicile in those states. Where South Dakota is still relatively an off-brand for the time being. Take advantage of first mover's advantage and get in on South Dakota before the hype begins. Or maybe the hype will never begin, who knows. Now there are plenty of private mailbox companies all over South Dakota, but I did it specifically with a company called America's Mailbox. I just went on their website, and I paid roughly about a little over $400 with one-time fees. Uh, I chose a titanium plan, which scans the interior of, of my mail. I just provided a copy of my passport, provided a copy of my driver's license, and just filled out some forms and paid an estimate of a little over $400 for startup fees. And I chose a titanium plan, which is roughly about $250 a year for them to receive your mail and to scan everything for you. And if you pay an extra $50, you can sign up for a South Dakota resident agent that acts as your power of attorney in case you want to form an LLC or you need to get divorce documents handled or, you know, big time stuff that you're not exactly physically there to be and, and sign for documents. 
your resident agent that you sign up for can act as your power, power of attorney. So once you provide the necessary documents for America's mailbox, they will assign you a private mailbox. So it goes like private mailbox and then a four or five digit number. So that's gonna be your private mail forwarding address. So that's your first step of officially becoming a South Dakota resident. So I signed up with everything, provided all the necessary documents a month prior to leaving for the United States, did this all in Thailand. But however, you can do this maybe one or two weeks prior. Once all this was taken care of, I flew back to the States, saw family and friends, and I took a quick trip over to South Dakota. Now the next step of the process is that you have to stay at a hotel or a campground for 24 hours in order to fully domicile in South Dakota. So for me, I stayed at the Courtyard Marriott. Once I stayed one night with them, I had them print out a receipt with my South Dakota address, with my private mailbox address. And once those 24 hours are completed, I went over to the local DMV. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm gonna put it right there on the screen. Super helpful people. I just walked in without an appointment. You can do an appointment if you want, but I just walked in without an appointment and I provided them a receipt of my stay at the Courtyard Marriott. I provided them my passport, my California driver's license, my social, social security number, my social security card. If you're a veteran, I provided them a copy of my DD-214, honorably discharged. Hopefully you guys aren't dishonorably discharged. You also need to provide them a receipt of a copy of any of your bills with your new South Dakota address. But for me, I didn't have any of that, so I just went over to America's Mailbox at their physical location and had them print out a receipt of me signing up with their services. So you provide them with these essential documents, and I waited at the DMV for an hour, an hour and a half, did the vision test, paid them $30 with my credit card. And after that, you surrender your California driver's license or whatever high tax state that you're coming from and you acquire your new South Dakota address. Amazing, wonderful services, and it will save you a ton on taxes. So some of the benefits of renouncing your California or New York or whatever, whichever high tax blue state you're coming from and domiciling in South Dakota, there's no state taxes, no pension tax, plenty of other options, putting it on the screen right there. And honestly, I couldn't be any more happier. One of the biggest reasons why I decided to renounce my California residency is because the current California governor, Gavin Newsom, and the current California attorney general that goes by the name of Rob Bonta, well, I can imagine that under their leadership, they're gonna enact more taxes and tax the middle class more and more. And I can see at some point in the future with this current trend of people leaving California and moving to states like Texas, Utah, and Florida, instead of fixing problems and finding ways to keep residents in their country and creating incentives, they're just going to enact more taxes. They're just going to govern harder and create more taxes for hardworking Californians, unfortunately. In fact, I can see at some point in the future, they're gonna enact some sort of retroactive exit tax, that you have to pay some sort of exit tax in order to lose your residency and to domicile in another state. I could be wrong for saying this, but I'm not gonna take any chances, and this is more of a preventative measure. In everything with life, whether it's domiciling somewhere else or investing in Bitcoin or whatever hot trend that you're in, you generally wanna have first mover's advantage. It's crucial and it's important for you to get in early on this before, you know, shit hits the fan and then everybody's running around like, oh my God, oh my God, you know, I should have listened to you, you know, early in the early in the beginning. Oh, I'm scrambling around. The best time to do this is when you see that things are heading towards a direction for the worse and you wanna enact preventative measures immediately, right now. And lastly, I just wanna close off this video by saying that it really sucks how the direction and where California is going. It was such a beautiful state growing up there. It was the epitome of culture, wonderful music, great people, sunny weather, wonderful food. You know, I've had some of my fondest memories growing up there during the 90s and early 2000s. My father escaped from a Chinese communist labor camp during the mid 70s, escaped, swam all, all the way to British Hong Kong and you know made his life there and eventually immigrated over to the United States, over to California, where it was still 
focused on free markets and they were very pro-business. California economy was booming and you know, made a wonderful life there. And I would compare the current direction of California's governance towards something that's very leftist, very socialist, very similar to the Chinese Communist Party. And I get quite angry and very frustrated to see the direction where this California state government is heading towards. It's unfortunate to see this way, but hey, nothing lasts forever. And most importantly, you must always adapt whether you like it or not. You know, in this channel, I may bitch and complain quite often, and I actually do. And I'm okay with people bitching and complaining about their situation. But as long as you take action and find ways to solve your bitching and complaining, that's when I have most respect for you. So you can sit and complain about paying too much in California state taxes or you're, you're too fat, you're overweight. If you're not doing something about it, then I would advise you to shut the fuck up. Don't be one of those guys that never does anything to remedy their situation. If you're fat, go to the gym, fix your diet. If you're paying too much on taxes, find, take appropriate action and domicile somewhere else. Figure out your tax strategies. So it's okay to bitch and complain, but it is not okay to not take any action. But then again, what the hell do I know? I'm just some random Chinese American guy living in a Southeast Asian country known as Thailand. What do I know? But anyways, I just wanna conclude this video. Take action, save some taxes. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.